we all know that to go from zero to you know a million even really you know is is a lot of just hustle and hard work and grind hustle hard work and grind so if you want to break past that you know that million dollar mark and you want to go to multiple millions or you want to go to you know eight figures 10 million and up you've got to think about it differently what you need is you need a blueprint to get started you need to establish where exactly it is that you're headed it's fun to make that journey you know to continue to grow but it's not fun when you start you know climbing the ladder and realize that the ladder is on the wrong wall but here's what i want you to consider so if you're like you know lewis i'm, I'm doing local i want to get into long distance or i'm doing local long distance storage i have an additional location i don't really know which one to expand on i want you to write down these categories all right and then what i want you to do is i want you to rate yourself in these specific categories not rate yourself but rate rate you know the categories. so for example let's say local moving right for local moving i want you to write down these categories all right first one is net profit okay so not what the net profit is but i want you to give yourself a score on, from one to five on how profitable your local moving is right then i want you to write down the category of ease of service right so for you, how easy is it to perform local moves from a scale from one to five, one being, you know, it's, you know, not easy at all. And five being, hey, it's super easy if I could do this every single day and just get more local moves. That's what I would want to do. Third category is ease of sale, right? How easy is it to sell this? Okay. So we all know that it's easier to sell a local move than it is to sell a long distance move, right? Or a commercial move fourth category so again we're rating all these on one to five I'm trying to help you establish right what that next move is for you to get to that next million right and if you're not already at a million this is gonna be really helpful for you to get there right so the next one is energizing how energizing is that particular line of work right so you might love 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 everything about long distance moving but the local moves you it just drains your personal energy right because what we're talking about here is we're talking about laying out a blueprint so that you can establish where you want to take your business next and you don't want to have the ladder that you're climbing against the wrong wall and let me tell you something if you're getting into something that drains you of personal energy or you just hate doing it every day, you've got the ladder on the wrong wall, all right? So I know there's, you know, when you're first getting started, it's like, hey, Lewis, but I need to make money. I'm willing to do whatever it takes. Cool, right? Do whatever it takes. You know, hustle hard, work hard. If you don't love it, if it doesn't energize you, okay, you've got to make it, right? Once you make it, you're at that, that you know, that peak of the mountain, if you will, that, that one mountain where you could see beyond, right and then you still need to go higher but you could see things more clearly and now you need to plan things out so you want to make sure that what you're going to do will energize you the next one scalability you want to make sure that if your you know uh, your goal is to scale meaning to take something that works and grow it can you scale the local moves or the long distance moves or you know opening additional locations how easy is it going to be for you to scale that right and the last category to rate it on is going to be sustainability is this something that you can do continuously over the long term right you might say Lewis but you know what's the way that's gonna make you the most make me the most money what I would suggest is watch this video again write down those categories rate them okay because it's different for everybody you're not gonna be able to you know build something that's sustainable if it's not enjoyable for you to do. Listen, if you wanna work with me over the next year to scale your business, I'm taking on a new group of 10 people. Uh, it is application only, it's not cheap, okay? It is expensive. So uh, if you're already at a certain level in your business and you're like, hey, I'm ready to you know, go from that you know, million dollar mark and, and, and take it to that next level and I just need some help on how to structure it and how to get there, let's work together over the next year. Just go to talktolewis.com sit down and think about what you really want okay because once you know i again I, I understand when you when you're just getting off the ground and you're just getting things going in those first 
you know, a couple of years, it's hustle, it's grind, it's hustle, it's grind, but you've got to be able to break that habit and take a step back and say, okay, now things are going, things are moving. I've got some money in my pocket. We're, you know, we're, we're established. What's my next move?